A child's whining is not only annoying, it is frustrating as well. There are positive ways to get a child to stop whining, beginning with an understanding of what's causing the child to whine. When a physical need or illness causes your child to whine, you can eliminate the whining immediately. Determine whether your child may be hungry, tired, or sick. Then respond to his or her need. If your child whines to get attention and you don't have time to give it to him or her right away, set up a time when you can give the needed attention. Then encourage your child to get involved in something else until that time comes. Be sure to follow through with your promise. If your child whines because things are not happening the way your child wants them to, explain that things cannot be the way he or she wants them to be all of the time. Be careful how you respond to a child who is whining because he or she is bored. Your child's entertainment is his or her responsibility, not yours. It's okay to suggest activities to do when your child whines. However, if you provide entertainment, you could be establishing a pattern that would not be good for you or your child. Sometimes you might need to ignore or walk away from your child when he or she is whining, or you might need to send him or her into another room. If this becomes necessary, explain that your actions do not mean that you don't love your child. Instead, they are intended to remind your child that whining is unacceptable and will not be tolerated. Whining can be minimized and in many cases eliminated by determining what is causing the child to whine and then responding appropriately. This is Joy Berry reminding you that parenting is the most important and rewarding job you'll ever have.